my final question will be on something that's just started um, and you know at 75 years we've made a start of that ecosystem i'm hoping to check with you how optimistic you are on and i'm talking about the gift city efforts uh, because they're trying to innovate they're trying to even launch products which you know don't exist worldwide uh, we're trying to sort of compete with some of the offshore jurisdictions how optimistic are you that this will work and and people will sort of uh, think of india in the same league as a dubai or a singapore or a cayman so you know the the as they say the proof of the pudding is in the eating hmm. so sign of my views on uh, give city is that we opened an office over there and we wouldn't have done that if we were not optimistic uh second uh, i think there's a lot of policy initiatives coming from the ifsca administration they're clearly you know very uh, thoughtful and dynamic but a financial center like that takes at least a decade to achieve uh, you know maturity there was a very interesting piece in the economist a few issues back on what is a financial center and how does it really uh, international financial center and how does it get created and all those stories mm. are decade long stories mm. so we are just in the first few phase so am i hopeful about it yes mm. uh, do do i think that something is going to happen like a miracle in the in the near term i think it's going to be slower but i think we are moving in the right direction this but is, it's it's not a short term win it's not a short term win and uh, i mean are you people seeing this as a in terms of just how sure this bet is for india um is it seen as a government agnostic bet i don't know the answer to that but i think if you really uh, people are still seeing uh, that there is an opportunity out there which is agnostic to whoever is the you know government in power there is a sufficient infrastructure mm. that is there and there are there are plans for the rest but early days mm. 